If you were to ask a group of heathens to name a Norse goddess, chances are about half will mention the name Frigg. Her name is among the most well known of the Aesir. Though not as popular as her husband, Odin, her stepson Thor, or maybe even the goddess Threya, many are familiar with her. Still, outside the myth involving her son Balder, some may come up empty handed recounting her stories. Unfortunately, this is a side effect of the little recorded lore involving all the goddesses of the Norse. However, there is a lot we can glean from the available sources to put together a solid framework that will help us in honouring Frigg. For those that are unfamiliar with Frigg, you may be wondering who she is and what roles she presides over. Frigg is first and foremost a goddess of the Aesir, one of the primary Norse families of gods, the other being the Volnir. She is, in fact, often regarded as their queen. Frigg is the wife of Odin, who is the Allfather of the Aesir. As the chief goddess of the Aesir, she is sometimes known as the All-Mother. Together with Odin, she is the infamous mother of the aforementioned Baldr and the mother-in-law to Nana. Frigg is also the stepmother to several gods, such as Thor. She is the daughter of the mysterious Lyogin. Frigg is also the possessor of a falcon-feathered cloak, and she resides in the marshy halls of Fensalich. From the earliest attested story, origin of the tribe of the Lombards, to the Scandinavian sagas hundreds of years later, Thrig shows herself to be a multifaceted goddess. Her importance cannot be discounted. As we will learn, these ancient Germanic people designated Friday as her special day. In the Roman calendar, this day was sacred to the goddess Venus. Interestingly, they also connected Frigg to the planet Venus, called Frigstar in Old Norse. Venus was not the only celestial body dedicated to Frigg, as Orion's belt was called Frigg's spindle, or some variation thereof. These are each strong pieces of evidence for the worship of Frigg, and her place amongst these ancient societies. The gods, on at least one occasion, are referred to collectively as Sligja Nidlia, or descendants of Thrig, lending further attestation to her importance. This is probably a symbolic title, as Balder is her only known son by birth. However, we can read this as Thrig giving her love to all her stepsons, as if they belong to her and Odin alone. Odin himself is given the kenning of Duella in Thrig's embrace, showing her place of prominence in his life. She is quite often defined by these relationships. In fact, a known kenning for Thrig is co-wife of Jord, and Rinda, and Gunlord, and Glida, linking her to these beings simply from their association as lovers of Odin. These relationships with other gods do form a strong part of her identity, but she is so much more than this. Frigg is a goddess who holds sway over many aspects. Some of them are closely related, yet others are distinctively different. She is at once the All-Mother and Goddess of Marriage, but she is also the Peacekeeper and Goddess of Fate. She is the goddess that oversees love in all its forms. In fact, the root of her name is thought to mean beloved one. The myths bear this connection with love in numerous ways, from the love that she has for Odin, who has many times stepped outside of their marriage, to the love for her son Balder, who she loses so tragically. Thrig is a wise goddess who often outwits her equally matched husband, on at least two occasions, who will see them face off with each other, and Thrig holds her own both times. Thrig is a goddess of healing, as we will see in at least one instance, where she works charms to heal a horse. As a goddess of the hearth and the home, she is a goddess of domestic crafts in all its varied forms. She is the ever mourning mother of Boulder, and a goddess of great strength when faced with that very loss. Thrig knows the fates of all, yet she never speaks of them. Indeed, a heavy burden to bear. 
If you would like to learn more about Frigg, then please take a look at our book, Frigg, Beloved Queen of Asgard by Ryan McLean, who also provided the words for this video. It's available right now from Moon Books. If you'd like to support this channel further, then please consider becoming a member. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for weekly content, and we'll see you next time.